This is Lenovo X390. I got a couple of them, one of them the keyboard is damaged. So I had a plan to swamp each other because I'm not using this machine anyway. Alright, and that is the actual look, alright. So I thought it's going to be like ordinary keyboard replacement, but it wasn't. I'm going to show you what the difference is. So this keyboard actually comes with right, left and the center key, alright. And under the right and left key, there are two screws which is hidden underneath the tab. So it's very easy to forget about this tab and if you pull it, you're going to damage the existing keyboards and you wouldn't be able to replace the keyboard, okay. So let's show you how I done it. So first of all, you need to take out the back cover. As you know, ThinkPad is always funny with the back cover. It seems pretty easy but it is not. Uh, so first of all, you need to unscrew all the screws that you can see. Remember, those screw doesn't come out. It's going to be locked down to the actual back cover. All right. And first, we're going to try from the side way and then the front. And from the back also, we need to play with it. I know a lot of people, they claim before, like might be the back cover or all the end cords are broken, but it is not. So what you have to do is you just need to push it from that side a little bit with the spudger so it's going to come out easily as you can see. All right. So once you remove the back cover, you're going to see there is a kind of anchor. That's the one kept holding into the actual laptop. Okay. So now what are you going to do? We're going to remove the battery before you touch any other component because always safety first. So there is a pull tab. If you just pull it, it's going to disconnect the battery. And if you just wait for a couple of minutes, it should be fine. All right. By the way, this keyboard panel doesn't have any screws from the back motherboard. So don't worry. You don't need to remove any screws until now. And then we're going to take a flat opening tool and we start going to spudgery. So first of all, we're going to take out these two buttons, the right key and left key. Okay, lift it up exactly the way I did so you're not gonna break anything. But if you follow the different procedure, you're gonna end up with breaking things. Once you remove this two tab, you're gonna find there are two screws just underneath. We're gonna unscrew those. We're gonna leave it on the side where we need it later on. And there are two silver screws, one at the left, another one at the right. Now we are good to go. We can take this out. Remember, this keyboard taking out is a little bit difficult because the actual gap with the frame is very fine. And it takes a lot of force to take out. Follow the same procedure. You're not going to break it. And I'm going to show you after I pulling this out. There is no damage.